Are you a content creator looking for effects to improve your videos in 2021? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video guys, I'm going to show you the free ultra transitions pack of 2021 After Effects inspired. So this is not going to be the simplest transitions pack that you guys can find online. It's a really, really nice pack. The download link is in the description. But before you guys go ahead and download this one and start using them, I first want to show you in this video how to properly use them, how to download them and everything like that. So if you guys are excited about this pack, make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and i would say let's go ahead and start diving in this free ultra transitions pack of 2021 that's after effects inspired right after the intro All right guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, as you can see right now, I'm gonna show you first how to download this and install this before you can actually use it because it's not necessarily like a LUT filter where you would just download it and boom, you can use it, Vega recognizes it on your computer itself in your downloads, for example, you have to install this manually. So the link down in the description will bring you guys to the page where you can download it. And once you have it in your downloads, we're gonna proceed from there. Okay, so now that we have downloaded the preset pack, right now what you need to do is open up the preset manager for Vegas. Now, I'll also leave a link down in the description if you're not able to find it online because it's probably tucked away somewhere at the bottom of like some part of like a download page because it's not really that used anymore or downloadable, for example. So I'll just leave a link down so you, don't, so you guys don't have to waste like 30 minutes to try to find it. So once you have also downloaded the preset manager, but now what we're going to do is we're going to double click on here. So then what we see is this box where we see the transitions pack dot preset. So right now we're going to click on effects chains. And right now, as you can see, everything will be here that we will need to install. So first we're going to just select everything that we see in this list, make sure it's blue and highlighted. Then we're gonna go to this icon, which says copy to system, and you're gonna hit that one. And if you click it just once, it will be automatically installed into Vegas Pro. So that's how simple it is. It doesn't work like a different effect where you just have to download it and it's good to go. You actually have to install this manually, but it is just one button in the preset. All right, so now that we are in Vegas itself, I'm gonna show you as well how to use these ones because it's not really like just a drag and drop like a regular standard transition that come with Vegas Pro. So right now I have two clips right here from footage. I think it was from September or October when the engineer was here when we we're writing the record. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a nice part where to cut. So let's say I'm going to do it right here. And then I have a second clip where we're going to go and transition into. So this is just a clip of Chester, the little kitten. I think you guys have seen him a couple times when he was really, really tiny a couple months ago in one of the videos. So let's say that we're going to cut to this nice sharp shot. So now I'm going to also press S and I'm going to just delete it right here. Okay, so now we also want to decide how fast do we want to have this transition to happen. So if you want to have a slow one, you're going to actually leave more space between the end of the first clip and, for example, where to start. So if you want to have a quick one, you're going to just leave less space. If you want to have a faster one, leave more space. So I'm just going to have quite a fast one. So let's say that I'm going to use this one, for example, for five keyframes. So I'm going to go back one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to zoom in to make a cut right here and then I'm going to also make a five keyframes forward into the next clip because of course the second clip also have that transition so then we're going to click one two three four five right here on this one so now that we have made the cuts this is basically where the transitions will happen so now we're going to click on the effects button right here and then we'll open up this one now right here we always be standard in the Vegas one well in my case I will always be in the Vegas one but what you need to do to find the presets that we just installed you need to go to filter packages right here which basically will show you every single preset that you have downloaded externally, whether that's a transition, color grading, and all that. So right here, as you can see, we have all the transitions that we just installed. Okay, so right here, we have, of course, all the transitions that we just downloaded. And for the people that have never seen these videos before, and they're coming in for the first time, what you need to do is you need to work with these transitions with A and B, because A has to be on the first clip that we just cut, and then the B one from the same transition is going to be on the first cut of the the second clip so of course when we just clicked on 
the event effects button of the first clip of the first transition we're going to click on the a1 so let's just pick for example a nice spin clockwise a we're going to click on add and we're going to click on okay now i do have to mention that if you're not going to work with keyframes it's actually going to stay the same because if you're going to play it back it's only just going to be a couple frames long and then it's going to stop of course you know moving because if you have a really long transition and this keyframe is only like four frames long but your clip is for example 10 frames it will be only just four frames and then the other six seconds of the clip or the six frames i mean they will just be standing still and it will not look nice so now what we need to do is just we need to for example start at the very beginning right here of this one and then we're going to drag this guy all the way to the right which is of course the marker and then we're going to for example place the z dist to the very right so as you notice right here it starts to turn right here if you click on the rotate button we need to go to the very end of this part and then we just need to for example click on rotate and drag this guy for example like this so now if you play it back this is what it looks like it turns around really nicely and then we need to also make sure to reverse this rotation in the second clip so now we're going to go to the effects button on the second cut we made of course the beginning of the second clip and then we're going to click on spin clockwise b and then we're going to click on add click on ok and now what we need to do is we need to actually start where we have left off at the, at the first clip so now what we need to do is we need to place our marker at the very beginning of the clip we need to go ahead and match it up so let's say that we're going to start upside down and now we need to place our keyframe or marker i mean at the very end and then we're going to just reset this one to the standard setting which is going to be zero so if i play this back this is what it looks like we have a nice spin transition and that's how it works with all the other ones so let's go ahead and create a different one so let me make a cut right here and i'm going to also delete the ones i just made for a second and i'm going to also cut to a different part from chester right here oh isn't he cute and then we're going to drag this one against it let's say that we're going to make a slower one so let's go ahead and use 10 frames one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right here and then we're going to also go on the previous one and we're going to go back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now we're going to drag in a different one so click on the effects button right here and then for the first clip that we just cut we're going to use the a so let's just click on zoom in left a and now we're going to click on add click on ok and let's see what this one looks like frame by frame so we can match it up so right now this is what it looks like it's zooming in and now we're going to also do the opposite one so i'm going to click on zoom in left b click on add click on ok and as you notice right here this is what it looks like it looks really cool so let's play it back it's a really really cinematic transition as you notice it looks really really cool and this is how you create these really nice transitions using this free using this free after effects inspired transitions pack you can find in the description down below you can download completely for free in the description down below guys this one is after effects inspired because as you notice it has like you know this motion blur it's really slow and cinematic and all that it's a really nice pack to include into your short movies your gaming videos your vlogs whatever you guys are uploading and this is basically how to use this really nice transitions pack after effects inspired from 2021 all right guys so that's it for this video the pack is listed down in the description you guys can download completely for free and by the way guys if you want to also check out my lot filter pack for just a couple of dollars which includes 20 really awesome lot filters that you guys can use on top of your videos check out the link down in the description as well it will bring you right to the page where you can pick it up thanks a lot for your continued support guys i'll see you guys of course in a brand new video tomorrow so that's it and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video Thank you.